Greetings all, Danny here for Area to Stay the Oracle message. Okay. Big ass chunk fell down heavy. Okay, the first message I want to bring up to you is goal setting. This is the literal best time to do this. We had a full moon last night and her energy is still very much active. So if you didn't get to go out, set your intentions, charge your crystals, cleanse your jewelry. Tonight you can still do that. Or or your moon pickles if, if you want to do a moon pickles. That's a thing you can do too, apparently. <laughs> but um, now is li the literal best time to put your goals, dreams, and manifestations out into the universe. Write them down. Sing a song about them. Draw it out. Do whatever you want to do. Because there are going to be huge updates to the systems. The Schumann Residence, the heartbeat of the Mother Earth, is growing every single day and expanding. Past two days, we've had a bit of a chill because we've had huge crown chakra root activations everything like that but like who you are going to be a month from now is not who is sitting here now so allow yourself to change and develop and take these updates and in doing so please rest because think about your computer when it has to have an update it has to restart it has to sleep for a little bit know your worth aries know what your value is and do not let a single person try to diminish that Decluttering is the best thing to do right now, and quite literally, because getting rid of that which no longer serves you, energetically, since November of 2021, we, yeah, November 2021, we have been going through an upset and upheaval that have made, brought things to light and made it clear what no longer serves you and what you need to get rid of for the best and highest good. So you may feel like the world is upside down right now, but remember that the hanged man in tarot that is hanging upside down in the tree to get a better perspective of things, to see things differently, to send more blood to his crown so that he can know what to do next. And this leads to more perfect moments, more serendipity and enjoyment of life's beauty that we are all have access to. Spirit, what does Aries need to know right now? As they are changing the direction of their life. I know that there's something else in here. Okay. You have stormy coming out. Do not be afraid of the storm and the thunder and the rain. Because it will all bring in good things. Thunder is just noise. Lightning is energy. And rain nourishes the earth. I want to do these before I forget them again. Because I forgot them the past two days. And we went without them. Because I didn't want to have... You miss something on you guys and do it for someone else. That just didn't feel right to me. So you're coming in in your own energy right now, Aries. This is all about you. We have Jupiter energy, which is the planet of... I believe Jupiter is the planet of upheaval and chaos, which checks with Aries. And you have the number 12. So this could be December. This could be 12 months from now. So in a year from today... It could be 12 days from now, 12 weeks from now, or maybe that's just a special number for you in general. I know it, it's a little tongue in cheek joke for my family because when I was turning 16, my mom recorded a video of my family um, giving me words of encouragement and my brother was just like, I'm not happy that she's growing up. You're going to remain 12 your whole life. And uh, so whenever I see the number 12, I just I just get a little tongue in cheek there. All right. Murky waters are ahead, my love, but you're going to be wading through them and weeding out exactly which does not serve your greatest and highest good. These sharks in the water cannot hurt you anymore because you know you wor your worth, you know your value, and you're not settling for anything less than what you deserve. What did I say? Serendipitous moments. Endless serendipity will be yours. Just enjoyment and passion for life again. Fireworks. It's time to move on. You don't need to be here anymore. Where you have been, where you've been stuck, you don't need to be there anymore. It's not serving you. It's not aiding you. It's not developing you further. And it's time to move on. Confess to yourself and your higher self what you need to let go of what no longer serves you, and what you do not want to have in your life moving forward. Spirit will not judge you. Spirit will not hate you. 
Spirit understands that this realm is full of imperfections and ego and challenges that we will all face. So my love, speak to them with true honesty and compassion and allow them to remove from you that which no longer serves you. Have a beautiful day, Eric.